Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will solve one very interesting problem based on mathematical modeling of mechanical system. You can observe here we have been given with one mechanical system and for this mechanical system, we are deal with to identify differential equation. See with this mechanical system, we have a reference over here. To this reference, one spring is connected that spring is having constant k and with this reference one damper is connected that damper is having damping constant b here one mass is connected and to this mass force is applied that is f and because of force here there is a displacement you can observe that is x so for this given mechanical system we are deal with to identify differential equation. To identify differential equation, you need to make equivalent model of given mechanical system first. So here we need to make equivalent model of this mechanical system. And to make equivalent model, you need to follow some standard steps. Let me explain how to make it. See, first of all, you need to plot one reference. Here, this reference that is equivalent of this reference that one can say. Now, let me explain the steps. See, in first step, you need to identify nodes. Nodes are there based on number of displacement. With given mechanical system, here we have only one displacement that is x over here. Means, with given equivalent model, we will be having only one node. Let us have one node over here and give name that is x. Now in second step, we need to see mass. Here in this mechanical system, we have only one mass. So we need to connect this mass from the node to the reference. So here this mass that we need to connect with this node which is x towards the reference. So you can observe here we have mass that is connected from the node that is x over here and to the reference. Now in second step we need to connect all other elements as per the given model. So here in given model we have two elements. One is spring and second is damper. See this spring K that is connected with reference and on other end it is connected with this node X. So here we need to connect this spring K from node and reference over here. And if you observe here we have damper that is connected in between reference and node X. So here I am connecting damper in between node X and reference. So that is how we can connect all the elements. Now we need to see how force is applied. So here in fourth step, we need to connect force. That is incoming force. So here incoming force that is connected over here, that is connected with node X. So as in when you plot force, at that time you need to plot it from reference to the node. So direction should be there from the reference towards the node. So you can observe here we have a force that is there from the reference toward the node. Here node is x only. Right. So that is how we can plot equivalent model. Here there are a few basic things that you need to know. See making of differential equations that is based on equivalent model only. So first of all, it is very compulsory to have an equivalent model. Like I have explained you the four steps that you will have to follow. In next coming videos, I will increase the complexity. But first, you need to understand what are the steps, right? Once you have equivalent model, we can write differential equation. So last step over here, that is to write differential equation based on connection over here. Now I'll explain you how to have a differential equation. 
so always remember this differential equation that is based on nodes here we have a one node so but obviously we will be having one differential equation only right so here you can observe here we have node x so with respect to node x i will make differential equation see at this node incoming force is f so incoming force with this node that is f and this force that is getting distributed in these three elements right so what is outgoing force outgoing force that is there with this spring with this mass and with this damper with this spring outgoing force will be k into x outgoing force with this mass will be mass into acceleration and outgoing force with this damper that will be damping constant b into velocity so outgoing force that is mass into acceleration with this mass plus damping constant b into velocity plus spring constant k into x now you can simply write equation that is incoming force is equals to outgoing force so that is f is equals to ma plus bv plus kx right now to make differential equation you need to represent this acceleration and velocity in form of displacement one should know acceleration is d square x by dt square velocity is dx by dt so if you place that then force equation that is mass into d square x by dt square plus damping constant b into dx by dt plus kx this is differential equation in time domain sometimes you may do analysis in frequency domain see stability analysis pole zero identification that we do in frequency domain usually we use laplace domain so now to get this differential equation in laplace domain i will apply laplace transform now in laplace transform there are a few basic things that you need to know in question as if initial conditions are not given then every time you will have to consider zero initial condition now in zero initial condition this d square x by dt square that is s square into x and this dx by dt that is s into x so after applying laplace transform here you can observe mass into s square into x is there means double differentiation that is s square into x single differentiation is s into x if you have differentiation s per d to the power n x by dt to the power n then s square to the power n into x that you need to do in laplace transform provided we have zero initial conditions so that is how we can have laplace transform and this is our differential equation right so as if zero initial conditions are not given then you need to consider zero initial conditions and in zero initial conditions differential terms that we need to convert as per order of differentiation here we have double differentiation so s square into x that you need to do with single differentiation s into x that we need to do right and that is how we can identify differential equation in next video i will increase complexity of question where we will apply same same formulas and same steps only thing is there will be a bit more elements and after watching those videos you can easily solve any mathematical model i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching this video